Okay, we're going to um, go to Tesla Supercharger, and they have the new um, version 4 dispensers, even though the charger is still version 3. So they're kind of calling it um, 3.5 or 3 plus. But the version 4 dispensers, which are much taller, centrally located in the parking space and longer cables, so we're no longer blocking. Um, a space while we're charging with with the um, with the charge port on the passenger side of the car. So let's um, and since the nav doesn't know that that supercharger is there, we're going to have to use um, manual preconditioning. So what I want to do is um, let's go look for Bucky's. And let's go ahead and navigate there. So, yeah, you know, it's 16 miles away. So, let's go ahead and send this to the car. Just waiting for the car to see it. There it is. So that's in there. So let's let's back up here and let's go to turn right and then immediately turn right. And let's go to battery preconditioning. It says it's unavailable. Battery preconditioning is currently not necessary. Okay, so the battery must be already warmed already. So I have been driving some time. So I guess I don't need it. And let's let's go ahead and stop this and let's try it from the center screen. back here and let's go to charging and preconditioning and it's giving us multiple messages You know, on the app gives you the exact what's going on. This message just kind of throws all kinds of possibles. So it kind of, you really don't know what's going on with the app. But in the app, you have all the information you need. So let's, um, let's get on the road and head over to, um, to Bucky's. Well, I'm out here at... Um, Waller, Texas at the uh, Tesla Supercharger with the Magic Dock and we see the new um, version 4 dispensers and still the version 3 charging cabinets and there's a lot of version 3 uh, chargers down the line. So let's bring up the Tesla app. Go ahead and find a charger. Yep, we're here in Waller. And we're on 7B. Oh, let's do a charge here. Then we'll select 7B. And we do a start charging.
and we'll wait for it to um and it's communicating now and we're charging and it looks like we're ramping up so let's go see what we're doing in the car There we go. I saw 185. So we're starting to ramp down a little bit. So yeah, I don't see any limitations and everything is working just fine. You can see the buckies over there. As you can see um, with these new cabinets, we're Everything's centered up on the um, parking line, so we're not blocking any other stalls. So the cables are nice and long. Got the Magic Dock adapter in there. So, yeah, much better setup.